Hey, what's up guys? It's Clifford Payne from Amigo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today we're working in Davis Island, um, down here in Tampa. We're gonna be doing this uh, two-story house um, roof, uh, shingle roof cleaning. It does have like a little third-story part up there, but I should be able to hit that when I'm up there on the second story. This lead was sent to me by another pressure washing company out of Newport Ritchie, Florida. Um, so I appreciate it for the lead. Um, he doesn't do any roof, so he's gonna be funneling me all his roof cleanings. If you haven't yet, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like, leave a comment. If you got any questions, make sure you hit the bell so you know when I put up a new video. I got my boy Jason with me today. He's gonna be my ground guy. Make sure everything stays um, protected on this property. Uh, we can't really see the roof from down here. So therefore, we're gonna um, go up there to show you what everything looks like. I think Jason has already started to uh, water the plants down for me in the back. So let's go back there. You guys see the rig? It's live in the fat. We're gonna be using our 12 volt system right here. Nice backyard. We're gonna see if I can tell this customer just clean up this uh, cabot team back here. It looks pretty dirty. Got my boy Jason right here with the watering part of the job. Shout out to ways to look better pressure washing. My boy Jason right here. So the first story on this side is all the over here. And then we got the second story up there. So I'm gonna clean everything down low and then go up top. All right, we up top. You guys can see some black streaks on the roof. All throughout right here, especially right here. You can see the dark streak right there, right here in the middle. That's the color of the roof. That's how you always can tell. You can look at one of the stacks right underneath it where the water doesn't touch. You'll see a clean streak. You're gonna start applying that mix on back here. Moving on to the front. Sorry guys, I don't have my mask. <laughs> Let me fool on you. I don't know where it is because I haven't done a roof cleaning in the truck And when I pack everything from the van, I forgot where I put it. I might just go ahead and just buy a new one, right? Sorry in advance Miss Angela don't kill me. I know I know she watching me. Miss Angela always catches it man. I swear <laughs> So we're gonna apply a mix back here and move on to the front sprayed up you guys can see what everything looks like all the streaks are gone that was over here Look at that right there clean we're gonna let that sit and marinate until the next rain we don't rinse those shingle roof only roof only roof I really rinse is um metal roof so we're gonna let this um sit and clean until the next rain and everything will get rinsed off so now we're gonna go ahead and um, go on the other side, do the same thing for the bottom um, one story before we get up there to the top. Okay guys, this is the other side of the one story. Got a little bit of streakage, but it's not that bad. On this side here, plenty got one more little side. Right there, I'll be able to hit that with my um, shooter. So I don't have to climb that one. But we're gonna spray this here with the same mix. We're using a 5% mix of sodium hypochlorite 
SH, chlorine, whatever you want to call it, and water. It comes in a 12.5% and uh, I got a proportioning system that I can dial it down to whatever mix I want. All right, so we're going to start spraying from back there. Move on over here to the ladder. Hey, Jay, I'm going to spray that with my shooter tip from up here. I don't have to get down. done with the first uh, floor section we're gonna go up top and I got the top um, the, this bottom part wasn't as bad that I thought it was gonna be um, but we're gonna go up there and see what up there looks like this is all sprayed and treated got my man Jason down there on my property protection shout out my boy Jason this was a small section on this side this is the front of the house my boy Jay down there wetting down all the plants make sure everything stays protected we're gonna get down go up there to the other side we get up top you know uh, spray the top sections okay we at the top now this top side is really dirty guys <laughs> really dirty a lot of algae streaks this is the front of the house my truck is over here we'll be able I thought it was three stories but this little elevated section is part of the two story, so I'm able to hit everything from up top. I'm gonna start spraying from back here, move up to the front. The roof is treated. I already sprayed all this area already. I'm gonna um, just come back, touch it up, a few little dark spots like that. Just hit them one more time. But for the most part, you can see it's clean. So I got a couple little more streaks right here. All here. All that stuff is gonna die. I'm pretty sure it will die without me spraying it again, but I'll just go ahead and hit it one more time. Just wanna show you guys the contrast of the clean side versus the dirty side. Clean side, dirty side. So we're gonna finish this up right here and I uh, should do a little recap up top and then we'll go down, um, wrap everything up. All right, let's do a quick recap up top. Everything is sprayed. Turn around this way, look at this thing. She looks good. Like a whole different roof. I'm talking about I went back and sprayed everything one more time the dark spots just to make sure everything dies so when it rains everything comes off all right y'all roof is cleaned up took us an hour and 20 minutes to do it um, I forgot the square footage of this but it was pretty big as you guys saw so um, we're gonna go ahead and go to Jesse got to take off I got two more jobs to do today. I got a driveway cleaning, the pool deck, and the pool cage to do. So uh, I appreciate y'all. If y'all could hit the thumbs up for me, make sure you like the video so more people can see it across the YouTube universe. Y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna go get some something to drink. I'm hot. I'll see y'all on the next job. All right, guys, we're at the second job for the day. Right now, we're in Lutz, Florida. We're gonna be doing a driveway cleaning for a returning customer. Last time I was here was two years ago. So the driveway's pretty dirty. Uh, we're gonna have to pre-treat this with a 5% which is the same thing we use on the roof 
just to break that algae up. I'm not even gonna play around with this thing. It's dirty, so it is what it is. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So this is the driveway here. A lot of trees around the property, so you can see how bad this thing looks. When I got here, I seen how bad it was. You know, I had to upcharge some because if a customer is trying to do, keep up with their stuff like once a year, I try to keep it, the price the same, but when they let it get as bad as it was the very first time I came, and it's this big here. Last time, I don't even think I went all the way down last time. They had something here. So I cleaned all the way up to right here last time. So they want this added onto it. So we had to up, up the price. It's gonna be fun because we're gonna be using the 12 GPM with a 19 inch surface cleaner because Steve has my 36 inch surface cleaner. So I'm gonna have to add like 10 pounds <laughs> on top of that surface cleaner to hold it down. That's gonna be fun. All right, we're gonna apply our mix now for the pre-treatment with the software system. Of the driveway done pretty much up to the surface cleaner i mean this thing cleaned up fast <laughs> i mean i damn near can run with uh the surface cleaner but this thing was real filthy i must still add a little bit of post treatment on here just to um you know take care of the tanning stains it was so dirty over here i just i know i was gonna have lines no big deal i'm gonna go ahead and um oh, my ball valve's leaking making my pressure washer act crazy um go ahead and do the side now and the, and the sidewalk Check it out. Looking good. Boys treated. Everything is drying up here. Yes, sir. Got one more to go. Got a pool cage, pool deck to do. We'll see you guys when we get there. All right, you guys, we're at the third and final job for the day. We're still in Lutz, Florida. Customer here actually saw me on YouTube cleaning the cage, and uh, he has a dirty cage, so he called me out to get it cleaned up. I'm um, letting the tanks fill up a little bit before I start. I'll tell you what, I got this new thing right here full of water keeps it cold comes in handy man i've drank so much water this week <laughs> water tastes it tastes good actually i don't even like water like that but somehow some way it tastes good this week so i'm drinking it so we're gonna let this thing fill up let me show you guys what the um kids look like 
All right, this is the cage here. Has a lot of green algae on it. You guys can see. Pretty green. We're gonna be doing a pool deck as well. You can see the papers are pretty dirty. A lot of green back here too. Looks like a, it's gotta be, this gotta fill up with water when it rains cause it's so low. They removed the plants for me. So I appreciate that and all that stuff that was on the pool deck. This should be pretty easy. We're gonna soft wash it and surface clean the deck. The beams ain't that bad, but they do got some algae on them starting to grow. Some algae here for sure. Look at that. Yeah, she needs some love for sure. Hopefully the downstream mix gets it clean. I'm running low on SH. Right now it's about 2.30, I believe. So I'm trying to squeeze him in without having to go fill up. So like I said, it's two, actually 2.25 right now. I'm gonna see if I can swing it. Um, start applying the SH from here and wrap around the other way. I got the Flow Pro with me. Got the remote, so I might rinse the outside. Eh, nah, I just go ahead and soap inside, do like I usually do. Streamed. I say it was 225. Right now it's 238. So outside should be ready to go. Let's go check it out. See how clean the beams are. Oh yeah. Beams are clean. Real nice out here. Got some lichen. Look at that. Ooh. Comes right off like butter. Got this side here. You can see the the white spots are where the algae was thicker. You can see it there. All throughout right here it was bad. We're gonna let that sit for a little bit and then um start giving it rinse from outside, moving inside. paid it took about an hour it's two it's 3 30 right now 3 32 so one hour pretty good so this is the cage here 
you guys can see how everything looks nice and clean all the green is gone show you guys the inside sorry guys yes i did get a little bit of water in the pool you know i try to keep most of it out but the pavers are uneven so the water carries back into the um pool they actually slope towards the pool instead of away from the pool so i got a little bit in there i'm sorry all right guys that's it for the day make sure you like the video if you leave a comment if you got any questions hit the bell for the notifications enjoy it have a good night good day good evening and we'll see you on the next one peace